Hey guys, what are you up to? Well, you're in for a real treat today. I believe you are. I really believe that. Um, I'm not going to be uh, swearing on the Bible or nothing, but I, re I, I do really believe you are. So, we're going to be getting into some detail work here that you don't see very often. And... Um, I've had people ask me, like, how do you know how to do some of this advanced work you do? And some of the guitars you turn out are pretty cool. I appreciate that. That's very generous of you. Uh, but how is it that you don't play guitar, but you build guitars? Well, I kind of do play guitar, and I'm going to uh, grace you with an episode, the beginning of this episode about how you play blues guitar. So let's give that a whirl. Actually, the end of this episode is going to be kind of short, so we're going to waste your time by doing it. But you are imprisoned to watch this because you're going to want to know what's <laughs> happening at the end because I already know you bought that yard sale guitar and you need to know what I'm doing this week so I can learn this week at my own expense and you can do what I do or not next week so blues guitar well um, there's a couple prerequisites the first one is you got to find your roots you know find your roots that's what everybody says well I grew up in Wisconsin and so short of Grafton, Wisconsin, where the Wisconsin Chair Company was, where Paramount Records were, and the main product of one of the Wisconsin Chair Company, besides chairs, I'm sure smart, was building phonograph cabinets. So they decided to jump in the market. They started recording race records. And so... Other than that, um, yeah, Wisconsin, not much. My grandfather had a two-story outhouse in front of a bar he had called Shaw Dam. Uh, but, yeah, there's not a lot of opportunity for blues songs about two-story outhouses. Sorry, Grandpa Bob, you should have left me something besides that. Um, and so, what else can I come up with? Well... Wisconsin, yeah, you don't do songs about cows. I mean, Sun House did one called Milk Cow Blues. Uh, I don't really think that was about cows per se. Yeah, but uh, blues songs about cows, I don't think that's real cool right now. So I'm kind of looking at what I remember about Wisconsin. Um, yeah, corn, a lot of corn, corn everywhere. Is there a blues song we could make about corn? Not that I can think of. So maybe I could cover a song about corn. And the only one that comes up to me that I can recall in my almost 65 years of like, yeah, um, is Jimmy Crack Corn. And you know what? I don't care about that song. Aren't you glad that you waited four minutes or whatever into to catch that one? So, um, Roots, Corn. Okay, I got it. I could make a blues song about popcorn in which I ate one of the kernels and I had to get a root canal. Yeah, no. I'm not thinking that's good. So what we'll do is I've reasoned this out to the point where it can be an instrumental. And that way I don't sing about anything and the big thing, the topic is out of the way. Now, uh, blues typically has something called call and repeat. So if you can't do that with voices because there are no lyrics, you can do it with a slide. So there's deep, tone and then call and repeat that's what that means it doesn't mean that when your wife or your girlfriend is pissed off at you you after you realize i'm gonna need this person for one thing or another in a few more days so i better start softening it up so you call them they don't answer and you repeat that kind of 
call and repeat leaves you to be even worse of the subservient lap dog than you are right now. Okay, if you want to um, see me for some therapy, number one, that's alarming. Number two, I just gave it to you, sent me five bucks. I guess I should open up a Patreon for something. Anyway, so what's the next thing? Well, you need a guitar, okay? But you're gonna need a slide. So I would tell you, get a metal slide. Don't get one of those slides that's hand blown out of glass, out of the UK, where it has a slide for this, a slide for that. You have to have NASA or NASA, you know, the rocket thing before Elon Musk came along, yeah, that. You don't want that. Just get a piece of metal, something that looks period correct or something you would find in a tractor supply. If you can find a brass one or a copper one, yeah, just shine it up so it doesn't turn green so everybody knows you never play. I'm, I'm really trying to help you out here with my best stuff. And next thing. Um, the guitar you can't have a new guitar don't 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 because it'll just say yeah you got some guy his mommy bought him a guitar and he lives in the basement and he does YouTube videos with his socks on you don't want that so you can't have a new guitar don't do an electric guitar do not do an electric guitar you want to start off rustic don't set people's expectations too high so an electric guitar, especially one that won the first place ribbon at the Antelope Valley Fair and Alfalfa Contest, this being Bob the Junk Pile Archtop. Yeah, you really don't want one of these. I haven't had this one out for a while. Yeah, it's that weird tuning that I can't tell you about. Oh yeah, look at that two input jacks, one for this Curtis Novak pickup, Curtis Novak. I think I will give you a link below. In fact, I think Curtis Novak's gonna be working on the pickup on the guitar that I'm, this episode is eventually about. And then, yeah, there's a piezo in there and they have separate input jacks. And anyway, you cannot use a new guitar or an electric guitar, regardless of how cool it was, the dreaded flyby and spin move. Next, do not use a metal body guitar for your first approach at actually releasing blues music because look, they're so cliche and you just don't want to do it because I'm going to do that and that takes away my ability to do it but they are cool especially when you can see yourself in the back it doesn't get any better than this you see yourself I'll spare you that yes wonderful so what do you want well you can't have some high dollar guitar some brand name guitar so you need a arch tops are cool that's why you're watching this channel as soon as i stop doing arch tops it's like when i stopped doing too many cigar box guitar videos everybody bailed but it seems like when i do uh a, an episode about an arch top the hits go through the roof i get four hits instead of two i appreciate your loyalty those people but arch top isn't this funny that someone took their long nail and they had to run it up and down the strings right here until they put a groove in it? Why'd you do that? I'm going to leave that there, but there's a way to fill that and make it where it doesn't fall apart anymore. But this is a 1939 Kalamazoo made by Gibson. So... It's an off-brand, it's still a great guitar. Do not show up with some $8,000 Gibson R's top and hold yourself out as somebody that just got out of uh, uh, Cigar Boss Guitar Building two weeks ago and now you're a virtuoso in the blue. So, there's the guitar, this is a good one. Straight out of Coveter's Paradise. Now. What else is it we want to think about? Well, we want to think about how you dress. This will not do. 
people don't want it. Your restaurant hat will not do. You need something a little bit better than that and that means you want something that's won't cause any dilemmas, uh, something that's not like so flashy, it doesn't fit you, but something subtle, like a blazer or a sport coat. I didn't say those words. Don't put words in my mouth, but maybe something like this. This coat is or has if I could ever get it on, that would help me. It's okay. You'll be okay. I'm teaching you patience. This coat actually has subtle hints of, that's right, chick flick teal. So this will work. Now, does it go with this? No, of course not. So we would do this. Easy, easy. Yeah, nope. This is not fans only. Just tuck the straps. I hate it when they fall down. But anyway, look at that. Ooh. Okay, so now we got the blazer going on. We got this look right. What do we do about the hat? Well, the trick to the hat is you got to get a hat that your friends, you wouldn't want your friends to see you caught dead in. And you're like, well, why are you doing this? on a YouTube channel where five or six people are going to see you. Well, guess what? None of them are my friends because I have no friends. Joke is on you. But I've got the perfect hat. It's this one. See? You put this on. You got the t-shirt. You got the chick flick teal blazer. I mean, this is an RJ Mishu starter kit. Do you know who he is? Link below. Video sample up there. Wait till the end. You're not going to want to miss this. The lesson is about to start. Don't lose out. And then with this one, got transitional glasses that that optometrist had to sell you. You turn up the lights with your low remote control clicker, and these turn dark, and you got the John Lee Hooker thing going on, baby, and you only have to play three notes. And then you can sue ZZ Top. Anyway, what am I doing? So, lesson. So here's the trick to it. Number one, it is a instrumental. There's no singing. So what you need to do, here's the trick. You need to be very deliberate and you need to be very serious and you need to have this clamp that's holding down this fake tablecloth you bought a yard sale out the way. But here's the deal. Open D or open G. Because when you play in those tunings, these fret markers that you see on the side, if you put your fingers across all of the frets and you skip, so we start up here on three, we skip to seven, then we go back up top, and as long as you skip at least one fret marker, it's gonna sound like some it's gonna sound like you know what you're doing. Okay? That's step one. Step two play single notes and play them deliberately almost like there's some cosmic secret that only you know and it puts people going oh what is this I need to know what this is it creates tension and so you just play one note you put your side on it one note one string and you do this see that let's do that again okay now you go from that and you skip one fret marker so you're gonna go like this got that now every once in a while you're going to get to the call and repeat thing where you got the deep. And then you want to go down to the 12th fret or that area since that motorcycle goes by. I'm not playing call and repeat with you, dude. Sorry. 
you should go down to 12 fret. You start around 10 or something like that. You do a little bit of this. And you work that slide. See that? So let, let, let's start over. Do not do the Bob Log cold motor 12 to 15. And also do not do uh, the uh, uh, Devil Jumped Up Preaching Blue. Because that's the other way of making it sound like you know what you're doing. Just go fast and never stop. But again, trust me. Slow, single note, single string, deliberate. I don't need another royalty or anything, but I'm sure glad you could learn something from me today. So, let's get that off. Let's get the restaurant hat on. It's time to get to work now.